Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. The Slam Missile is a very capable standoff munition that I would like to show you how to use. We're gonna select air to ground, we're gonna select the Slam Missile, and now our timing will start. It's gonna finish in 7.30, but it's not gonna take the whole 10 minutes. Now I'll work with a uh, target or opportunity mode. The pre-plan mode does not work for me that well. Now the flight is how high the missile will fly. We're gonna go to uh, medium by cycling it. And now the E-fuse will be on instantaneous. Just turn it on. Step to the other missile and do the same. While the missile is aligning, I'll go to my HSI page and I'm just gonna show you what we have here. So, hold on, let me zoom out a little bit. Here, uh, that's 80 miles will be enough. Okay, this is waypoint one, this is the target itself, waypoint two, and I'm not gonna designate it as a target yet because the missile is still aligning. Once it's done, I'm gonna designate it. I did have to script the mission a little bit just to uh, show you guys a capability that had not yet existed in DCS. Now we can turn on the Daylink pod. And once it's up, I'm going to select the web there and pair the missile to the tail link. I'm going to do it for both web and stem. Not sure you need to do it for both, but I'd rather do it. And now I can designate and see there, you can see in rage of so the, the missile got its information that this is the target and we're inside this uh, big circle. So we're in range. That's the target right there. I'm going to turn in. I'm going to work with two missiles on the same target and we're going to show you why in just a second so that's one missile away we still need to provide the target information for the other missile so I'm going to undesignate the target now and turn away to the other location now to provide the missile with the target information, I'm going to redesignate the target now. And now you see it, it, the missile has the target information. Now I'm going to drop the missile from another location and they're going to basically follow each other. And I need the time to guide them to the target accurately. I had to change some of the parameters of the target that we're going to strike because I want to show you something really cool. The first missile is going to hit the target and then there's going to be a damage on that target and in that damage is going to be a hole which I'm going to basically put a missile through a hole on that target. You can see my missile, the first missile over there. So I'm going to start turning in. If you can imagine the Top Gun 2 mission where they had to strike the target two times in order to penetrate first the ventilation shaft and then to drop the, the bombs in. So it's kind of the same. Got the nose pointed toward the target and in range missile away okay let's peel off and we're gonna go that's the missile right there it's awesome okay now I'm gonna climb to a higher altitude and get the missile from there to show you how to set the distance of when the missile is going to turn on and start sending feedback but the default is 10 miles i like to work on the color mfd select the daylink 13 and now we have the channel here which is translated to the station of which missile we dropped it from so the right one is the first one the left one is the second one the right one is uh, channel 8 and that the first one so select channel 8 and now i'm just going to wait for the feed uh, from the missile, which is going to be once it's going to be 10 miles from the target. Now I'm working with the SLAMs and not the SLAM ER because uh, the SLAM will provide a TV feed and not IR feed like the SLAM ER. Now if you're here and the target is here, well this is the tail of the jet, right? I'm going that way. So if you are pointing the rear of the jet towards the target, you can select the rear antenna right here if needed. We got the feed, so to choose that sensor, I'll go sensor select down because I'm using that uh, thing. And now we got the diamond there. Now I'm going to uncage and basically you see me controlling the missile. So basically I'm flying. I don't know what that was. That missile is the first one. It will damage the target and create that hole, which then I'm going to try to uh, thread the needle, I guess, with the other missile. Going in, still controlling that, so I'm going to hit it right on top. And it's fairly easy to control. The feed is becoming a little bit weird. Right on top. Okay. 
So now let's quickly change to station two. Oh, sorry. Channel station two. Enter. And oh, we already have feed from that other missile. Oh man, I'm not flying the jet. The autopilot. I, I kind of screwed that up. That's fine. I'm gonna manually correct. And FOV. No, it's not working for me. That's fine. Let's just fly the jet for a second. We got time. Sometimes it's gonna be a little bit. Well, oh, it's not taken. Never mind. I'm gonna fly that. Well, I'm gonna fly the jet while doing that. It's fine. It's fine. It's sometimes a little bit uh, annoying. I didn't have the autopilot set up correctly. But you can see the target coming in and we're getting in close. And that's why I'm using the slam and not the uh, ER. Oh, disengage now. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna fly it. So now you can see the feed is coming in and it's becoming clear. Oh, there we go. We can see the hole and that's why I'm using the slams and not the ER because it will, it's gonna be really hard to tell. And I'm, I'm manually flying the thing right into that hole. There we go. Yo. Oh, I hope it worked. That was cool. That's it. Now pull back the, oh, what do we got here? Well, we got something here. I'm gonna go to the, air to air mode and let's see if we can have something in radar I hope it worked but you see there is SAM sites over there and I didn't even get a uh, pinged or whatever it didn't spike so you with the standoff munitions it can be really safe nails 29 nails and there's two of them all right Let's turn in and start engaging them. This is the only thing that, you know, QRF, if uh, someone's gonna respond, if you're gonna strike, obviously that's the main danger. But again, the further you are, the more advantage you're gonna have him. I have him locked. Because I was carrying all those missiles, I have only two air-to-air -air missiles and only two sidewinders. I'm gonna have to make it hyperbole of kill. I mean, I would like to do it all the time, but now I'm really gonna have to push it a little bit already in 34 miles and closing in I'm gonna have to uh, push a little bit further not into the mar because it doesn't look like he's that high so I think I'll have the opportunity to defend while getting even closer than that so that's fine Let's see if we're getting a shoot cue here well not yet yeah he's fairly low and he's not climbing that aggressively 24 miles. Well, let's check it again. Get the nose out. We already have a shoot cue. And, okay. Fox 3 in 21 miles. Oh, he shot at me. Uh, missile notification off the rail tells me it's a uh, Fox 1. So, it's sometimes easy to defeat, but not close range. Try to keep the lock in the crank, guide the missile towards him. I suspect he's gonna have to defend it and break that lock eventually, I'm kinda counting on that. That's why I'm being a little bit aggressive here. And, nope. Yep. Missile was defeated, let's recommit and get ready for the other one. I don't see the first bandit visually. Uh, okay, let's try to lock the other guy. Oh, he's a little bit higher. I need to raise the elevation of the radar. Let's try to pick him up. I still don't see the other. Oh, he's spiking me. Oh, he shot a missile. Okay, let's defend. Oh, there he is on radar. Let's lock him. I'm gonna go for it. Yep, I'm gonna go for it. A little bit of a roll. Point the nose. I know it's dangerous. Fox 3 and defending aggressively. Hope that missile do its thing. Jettison the fuel tanks. I see him. I see him visually. Okay, let's recommend. Sidewinder selected. He's defending. He broke the lock. That's why I'm not getting the missile notification. Let's try to close in. I really need to because all I got is sidewinders. I'm getting toned.
Get ready for a merger. Got oh, splash. We got him. Where's the other? I'm gonna stay low. Try to search for the other. Cause I didn't see a splash. But the RWR is clean. Oh, I think I got him. I don't see a splash light though. Well, I'm not gonna stay here for long. That's it. Okay, I'm out. Hope you guys enjoy. See you next time.